Okay, morning guys. Welcome to Nakon Rachasima. It is 6 a.m. Doing this video very early in the morning. So there's no traffic, but there's still lots of traffic. But not nearly as bad. This is definitely a, a high traffic city. Gonna do a U-turn here under the bridge. If you were going to the big night market, it's about two kilometers straight down this road over the overpass and uh, beyond the left hand side you'll see it there's lots of lights it was quite easy to find around here it's the first hotel we stayed at <coughs> there'll be a hotel review on my website, northeastthailand.com, we're going to stay in three different hotels, or we are staying in three different hotels. There will be a review on each one. That one's called uh, Siamitani, something like that. Siamitani. This city is basically one long road, and even when you go go the other way where we did the U-turn at it's all busy it's all you know it's this road through the city is very long and very busy but the main stuff the main businesses are along this route that we're going this morning and then we'll go look at some back roads that's where the cool stuff happens not tourist stuff just real life stuff Stuff that interests me. This is a very, very busy city, and we're coming up to the very, very busy intersection here in the, about a kilometer. We've got on the right hand side. It's old. I haven't been in there, but it looks old. Toyota has got a huge dealership here. It's the nicest one I've seen from Toyota around the country, that's for sure. And there's a second hand, the, the Toyota Sure is uh, the Toyota second hand vehicles. There's Toyota right here. They have their second hand ones across the road. Maybe just a display. Don't have very many in there, but the, the other Toyota is huge. Bangkok Patio Hospital, most, or Bangkok Patio, <laughs> Bangkok <laughs> Hospital, Bangkok Nakhon Rajasima, I guess. You never know if they're gonna call it Nakhon Rajasima or Korot. They use the, the two names are interchangeable. But always a good choice for a hospital if money's no concern. <laughs> I know the one in Padilla is insanely expensive compared to the others. And you got some really cool uh, billboards now, like giant TVs. You can see how clear that picture is over there. Yeah, motorbike flying down the sidewalk. There's not even any traffic and motorbikes still don't follow the rules. Motorbike taxi, here he comes. I see kids going to school. It's 6 o'clock in the morning and there's kids going to school. That's crazy, man. This is a big shopping mall. It's called The Mall, I think. It's the only name I've, I've seen on it. It's very old. But, you know, it starts right here and just keeps on going, you know. Still the mall. All the way down here. And there's the end of the mall. It's really long. There's three shopping malls here that I know of. That one, and there's a... Uh, the new one at Terminal 21 and Central Festival.
Terminal 21 is cool, that's for sure. Zuzu dealership. It's a giant shopping mall there just for shoes. That's what it looks like to me. This is the turn off to go north. Go towards Konken. This is where Terminal 21 is. The hotel we stayed at last night is right there opposite. We didn't get to see it. Big C, it was in there last night. Very, very old. But Terminal 21, that's really nice. That's the oldest, most run down Big C I've ever seen, that's for sure. It's still busy. So different when there's no traffic. There's another hospital, St. Mary's Hospital. Tuk Tuk's very popular here. If you want to get around, that's probably the best way if you're not driving. They also have uh, motorbike taxis right outside the hotels. Normally there's a motorbike taxi and a Tuk Tuk. There are ta actual taxis, metered taxis. I've only seen a few. And then you got the old bot bus. That's to be the cheapest way to get around, but you need to know their route. The most convenient motorbike taxi or tuk tuk. Another Toyota dealership, look at that, huh? Okay, now the road spits. We'll pick one. I've never seen so many tire shops in my life as what's here. Big ones too, big, big tire stores. Let's go through a lot of tires or something. You see the people setting up their little food stands. That guy's got a, a food truck. That's different. Macro. There's two macros as well. But one of them might be just a distribution place. I don't know if it's an actual store. It's out towards uh, where immigration is. I'll show that road later which way to go to immigration. I did a, a video on that as well, how to get there. Not so much out here. This is what it looks like uh, going towards the night market. It's still all built up busy, but uh, not as much stuff. We'll do a U-turn up here, go back, and I'll pick this back up uh, when we get back to Terminal 21. You see this uh, truck here? Very popular through rural Thailand. They come around selling little bags of stuff 
quite the ingenious business actually you can see that one it's got a lot of stuff on there <laughs> you know you can buy every everything there all your vegetables your meats fruits you name it Yeah, I forgot about this one. It's way out here, huh? Central Plaza. Very nice. I'll take a look at it on the way back. As we get through our U-turn. U-turn is an overpass bridge. There's another Toyota dealership down there. And Global. Global's a hardware store. There's Central Plaza. It's a unique one, that's for sure. I've never seen them like that. Quite popular, most cities has uh, Central Plaza. Central Plaza or Central Festival. One or two, I don't know if it's the same business or not. But it's pretty big. But nothing like Terminal 21, that place is huge. But they all have the same stores in them, you know? Doesn't really matter. It's kind of cool. It looks like a flower, yeah. There we are, back at Terminal 21. Look at the cool bicycle. Get to get the cool ride to work or to school. <laughs> No, it's almost 6.30 now. You can see all these kids, you know, off to school already. The ones on this tuk-tuk, or the, sorry, the bot bus. There's a monk out. A couple big temples around here. meet up now with uh, the road we started out on. Continue down. This is how you go to immigration. Down, follow this road. It's just stay on this road actually. But I have a video for that. Shows where the U-turns are. Shows the immigration office. All that stuff. There's a huge school down here. And when school gets out, this road is crazy busy. Mazda dealership. A big, big temple right there. Oh, lots of, lots of food stuff here, huh? Morning. Look at that, there's a market there. Good morning. Morning market, yeah. Didn't see that one before. We're gonna get in line here. 
we'll go in and show you some of the older part of the city where the locals live. It's a big monument here. Oh, I didn't think I was getting through there. <laughs> When you come down the back roads in any of these uh, cities, you never know what you're going to see, you know? You know. Find some really cool stuff, that's for sure. There's a rickshaw. All down this uh, center part. There's another mall. It's really cool. Huh? I bet that's nice at night. I didn't even realize it was that big. Okay, where are we going? side of the canal. Security guards sweeping leaves and having his morning coffee at the same time. There's a train track. There's a big train station here. Army base, maybe? See the army. Well, how cool is this? Golf course. Oh, there's the horse track. <laughs> Good luck. Cool.
Oh, look at this guy. I guess I have to go in the wrong way. <laughs> I just drive down the wrong side of the road. What's the big deal? Okay, guys, I think we'll leave it there. Time to go find some breakfast. We're having breakfast at the hotel. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're looking for more information on Nakon Rechisima, uh, check out the link in the video description to my website, northeastthailand.com. As always. Thanks for watching. Look at all the people in the back of that truck. Huh? That's only about half normal, actually. Yeah, somebody's building something. <laughs>